broadcast live. I'm from top top. I'm from top top. I'm from top. Get it, get it, from top top. Shoot, Bridge. I gotta think of something deep. <laughs> no, man. I think I think for me, like from from the jump of me being in the industry, I was very much like, you're not gonna just see me as a piece of meat. I think like I was never viewed as mmm, Bridge, yummy, bad. Like it was never. Bridge was always gangster. like it was like Bridge the gangster bars girl. Mm, that right. was what I was known for from the beginning, and I was okay. I was I was good with that. Yeah. Purely because I felt like that has been our narrative as girls in, yeah. in the industry. It's like okay. A guy, a guy is gonna sign you. You're gonna be that bad, bad girl behind him when he mm. needs you. You're gonna drop some bars here and there, and then that's that's your story. You're the, you're the hot chick who raps sometimes. You know yeah. what I mean? And for me, I was like, okay, cool. That is a narrative that we know, but that's not gonna be my narrative because it also came down to my values and who I was as a person. It wasn't me. I wasn't. I wasn't the always in the club girl. Yeah. I wasn't the you know dress a certain type of way girl i wasn't the the, the drinking and, and and doing all of that stuff that that wasn't me and i wasn't about to also change myself purely for the industry right. i still had my values i still had the way i grew up i still had the fact that i wasn't trying to make my parents seem in a certain way purely because of how bad i wanted to be in this industry mm. i knew how much my family had given up from leaving Congo and all of that stuff to make sure that we were good, but it wasn't going to be at the extent of tarnishing their name, tarnishing my name, tarnishing the things that I valued and cared about purely because I wanted to pop off. Right. Um, I also knew that it was going to take me time purely because I am a female. Yeah. Um, I knew that no one was, especially at that time, people weren't ready. They, they didn't think, yeah. they didn't know that they were ready to see girls come and actually take on this industry like yeah. it has never been taken on before yeah. by females and um man once i made that decision it was hard loot our in line it was tough we were cry- calling each other all the time just crying and 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 like me calling and just saying like i'm so what do i need to do like yeah. they're telling me i'm good they're saying i'm good but they don't want to they don't want to work they don't want to work with me the guys don't want to feature me they don't mm. like what do i need to do you know what i mean and it was like it just came down to just wait like rouge just wait keep work keep working no one's looking it's fine you don't need people to look in order for them people to realize how hard you're working Mm -hmm. keep working in the darkness it's gonna come out in the light and once i did that that's when everything came into play that's when now like the amount of features that everyone is asking you for from your top males right is being asked for you know from from the theme no it doesn't even matter what it doesn't even matter the genre you know what i mean, I mean i'm working now with with the best of the best and it was purely a patience thing of waiting for people to realize that you guys are ready to see females mm. like you don't know it yet but you are ready to see females come in and take on this very male dominated industry you're ready for it and after that that's when i decided okay cool now that they know me i can wear the makeup now yeah i can get my nails did i was like no now you know me now you can't you can't question me you can't question me for my bars you can't question me for my music you can't question if i have what it takes i am this is the first time i'm I'm gonna blow my own horn please do it you know you can't say anything about me being the first female to win a summer, a Safta, a Saha. You can't. All in the same year. In the same year. Mm-hmm. Yes, that. Of one project. Mm-hmm. You can't, you can't, for now, now it's like, no one can tell me nothing about, does Rouge have what, do females have what it takes? I feel like I have ended that conversation for yeah. the next girl. Yes. You know what I mean? Now Definitely. all girls who are coming up can be like, ah, don't tell me nothing. Rouge right. did it. Now it's possible. It right. doesn't matter what anybody is saying. Right. For real. So, yeah. Shoot. For real. Rosalie? Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, it was just as tricky because, I, unlike Rouge, I was that girl. I was that girl who looked good. I was that girl who was always mm, out. I was mm. the girl who took, you know, time. So people always had to, like, kind of see past that yeah. and take it seriously. And I think a lot of the time with artists, you know, they always say, you need to have a look. You need to have a vibe. Yeah. You need to have a personality. Mm-hmm. Be social. People must like you. I had all of that. Mm. It was convincing them about the music that really, really took time. And... For me, that was not something that I could wake up in the morning and do. It's, yeah. like, it's like a skill. You have to practice every single yeah. day. You only get better and better with time. And I couldn't rush that process, yeah. you know? I think that's why the mixtape that I dropped in my head, that was always going to be my album. But through time and like working with different people and listening to different people, like I realized that 
I'm not there. And yeah. it's not a bad thing, you know? I think a lot of the time artists are, are, are a little bit too afraid to admit when they don't have certain things or when they're not at a certain place. And for me, it's like, I had everything else, so I was like, let me use that for now right. while I work on everything else, you know? And now I'm in a place where I'm like making really, really dope music that people can vibe to, that mm-hmm. people like to. Even, you know, sometimes I'll go on stage and people, the up sometimes I meet people and they're like, oh, you stopped doing music. Oh, you're good. I'm so glad you didn't give up, you know? Wow. Because they're like, wow, like you actually Human. still Human. really, really Humans are exhausting. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Humans are exhausting, you know? Um, but for me, I, like, I really don't take it as a bad thing. Like, you know, sometimes people would even tweet me and be like, oh, damn, I was really sleeping on Muesli, but I'm woke now. Mm, right. I'm like, okay, good right. morning, boo. Welcome right. to the party, you know? Or sometimes they'll tweet me like, ah, y'all sleeping on Muesli. On I'm like, it's okay, let them sleep. Right. They're going to wake, gonna up, wake you know? up, wake up. And for me, like, it's so great that I also have such a great example because in Rouge, because before, it's like just shooting into darkness, like, you're just trying to figure it out. It's never been done before. You don't even know. Now we literally have a case study to mm-hmm. see. Especially yes. what, mm-hmm. what is so exciting about Rouge is that she's an independent artist yes. as well. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that's what makes it such a great study. And also we're living in a time where there's so many different types of girls. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like that you can look up to. Like you can look at Fifi Cooper and like, like a style like mm. Fifi Cooper. You can look at me and like a vibe like me. You can look at Rouge and like a vibe like her. There's so many different types of people in the game that we can all learn from. And for me, like learning has been my greatest thing you yeah. know i'm so happy to learn even if sometimes it gets awkward even if sometimes like oh i killed this fuck oh <laughs> <laughs> then you go do a way with miss cosmo and miss cosmo comes with her red pen and- <laughs> <laughs> is that what happens no miss cosmo's dj kelly you don't want to hear <laughs> no she kelly she'll tell you another one can you start the verse like this <laughs> and maybe use some of her neck she can <laughs> But it works. It That's works. a good thing, though. That's it works. Works. <laughs> At the end of the day, my name is Arnold, girl. We need to make sure. We need to make sure. Yeah, like but also, we... but again, it's a, it's a feedback thing. I think a lot of the time, like even with the guys, sometimes you'll sit back and be like, hi, but we were his friends when he recorded this song. That's literally it. Can I be, yeah. be honest with you? You know, you? Know, yeah. you know it's lit when Miss Cosmo is busy telling Nasty C and Chris are like, uh-uh, this is a lie. Shoot. Because look at the end, like just because yes, you guys right. are hot. She's, her name is on the song. Right. We also know about hip hop. She also knows what she. We wants. also know what we like. We also know what we don't like here right. and there. And the nice thing about like artists Yo, like I that. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice thing is that they listen. Yo. We all like we, yeah. we listen because at the end of the day, we all have something to offer this industry. It's not just you. Right. You know what I mean? We right. all have our takes and our views, and we're all trying to mesh this into this one. Yeah, and it's a team effort. And it's also something that being a female in this game, that like you will always have the advantage of you will be more patient than everybody else in the game, Mm -hmm. and you will be able to listen. You won't like take it personally when somebody telling you something. You'll be able to implement it and keep it moving. Whereas I think because guys are like they they run it, it's their game. You can't tell them nothing. Yes, you can't tell them anything. You know, it's very very difficult. So I think. That's something that we are very happy to use as our superpower. Like we're super patient, we're yeah. we're we're willing to wait, but at the same time, it's like we know exactly who we are. Like yeah. we're able to speak up and say, "This yeah. is what we like. This is what we don't like. Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're not gonna do." And 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 I think yeah. also the the strongest part about it is that we're also killing it in this industry in our various spaces. Mm-hmm as independence on top of everything because it was hard i mean there's been plenty of times where rouge has been complaining with the hour oh, these people don't want to sign me this one that one the movie was signed and she was like hey this is not working this this is not <laughs> out. let me be out crap. maybe it's better on the outside <laughs> i've always been on my own so mm. it's always just like we're always trying to navigate our way through things right but it's also like actually this thing is possible mm. and we're also then showing the other girls because you don't need a man mm. to get to the front that's right mm. at the end of the day yeah, if you work hard enough you've got your eye on the prize yeah. Gonna Anything happen. is possible. And I think also that's why it's so important for us, like besides our friendship and our business, for us to move as a unit. Yeah. Because we definitely see the power in that strength. Like the power of girls, you know what yeah. I mean? Like Literally, super yeah. duper strong, super power. Like, you know, the the power rangers are great individually, but when they come together and like make that big power ranger, like yeah. it just pops off, they're absolutely <laughs> indestructible, do you know what I mean? And for us, especially as females, like it's yeah. so important to promote unity amongst us because we are the minority yeah. do you know what i yeah. mean we are the minority and in the game yeah, yeah we're the minority in the game and we are the first of our kind yeah and we are the first 
female hip hop artists who are truly independent, fully mainstream, fully signing deals. Like we are setting the foundation. So the same way the CEO of Vodacom knows the CEO of MTA and right. they, they may not have dinner together or whatever, but they know each other, they move together, they network in those spaces. Like CEOs hang out with CEOs. That's right. Bosses hang out with bosses. That's you know, right. you have to hang out with like minded people, people who are in the same field as you. So I'm not saying that all your friends should be rappers if you're a doctor, but hang out with like minded people. People who are gonna push you to another level, people who are gonna show you a different angle. People who are gonna say, No friend, I know you're tired, but it's fine, I'll drag you. Do you know what let's I mean? Go. Like, let's go. We end this together. So, like, that for us is extremely important. And I think besides on, on camera, what people can see, behind the scenes, like, our teams work together as well. Yeah. Like, if I've got an issue, the first team I'm calling is Rudy's team. Like, <laughs> if I need a number for a booking, like, yeah. I'm calling Cosmos. Because yeah. Cosmos is booked all over the country. Like, mm, yeah. we're able to use each other in that way and still, like, it's mutually beneficial for all of us to work together. What about the guys and their gatekeeping? You know, um, like you've mentioned, you guys are a minority in the game. And, and a lot of the time, it, boys in general don't want to make room for another man to come in and, and, and take the spotlight and be number one, you know? Mm-hmm. Everybody's always fighting to be number one, remove whoever at whatever cost, I don't care. I'm just trying to get to the top. So how, how hectic has it been for you guys? You know, I know I know that you mentioned that Dimples helped you. Yeah. Obviously you got in with Cash Time um, and they were playing a role as well and he was the toughest guy. Um, but has it been an intentional thing where you can see and you can feel that actually, you guys don't want me here. You have a problem with the fact that I'm even in the space sharing and breathing with you. You have a I problem think, with the fact that I'm being booked. I think those things are happening now, if I must be honest. Mm. Now um, that you actually... Now that yeah. we're killing it and we're taking the jobs that they want. Mm. Sure. So when we're getting the endorsements that they want, right. and we're getting the money that they want, and we're getting the appreciation and maybe, say, the campaigns sure. that they want, that's where the sourness starts to come in. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to name names, but like, there's a couple of guys where I'm also just like, Oh, were you tricky because of how? Oh. But me, I was just working. <laughs> you know what I mean? The work spoke. So those things kind of happen where, where now it's like, okay, now we're competing at the same level. Whereas prior, um, it might have been a support thing to be like, ah, oh, she's our little sister because she's been clubbing with us in the yeah. club. You know? Now it's like, okay, let's help her through. Now it's getting a bit tricky because now it's self preservation. Now you're sitting back and you're like, ish. You know, end of the month is a bit tricky. It would be dope if I could get some sort of paycheck or some sort of campaign. And it's like, ah, but I could have easily done that, but it went to that person. Why? Is this because right. she's a girl? Mm. No, it's not because I'm a girl. It's because I'm dope. Mm. That's right. Mm. You know what I mean? Working just as hard as yeah. you are. And, and uh, there's, there's, there's something I also want to ask. Like, there's, there's, as much as the small moments that affect you as a female in this very male-dominated space, they're very negative and very hard things that you have to sort of go through. So I'm just thinking back to a conversation that I had a friend with a friend who's working in a completely different production, but she's in a male-dominated industry. You know, camera, men, TV is very male-dominated. Yeah. So she was in a situation where she was in an abusive relationship. So she would rock up at work sort of with bruises all over her body, you know what I mean, after whatever hecticness happened the night before. So she would be in makeup, but then her makeup would take longer because the makeup artist now needs to cover up all the bruises all over her body. So production starts complaining on some, why does this particular girl's makeup always take this long? And obviously everybody's trying to sort so of protect, you know, story, and we're just like, yeah. no, we just need to, whatever. Eventually she had to kind of say, that yo, I'm a bit bruised up, so I just need to cover up stuff. And that actually ended up in her being fired from the production. And not anybody walking in and saying, okay, okay? what's going on? Are you okay? She actually got written out of the story, whereas her male counterpart, uh, counterpart who she she was with in the same production, actually stayed and carried on with his life and had the part. So those are some of the things that kind of happen to women in this industry. where it, people don't care that you're going through something, people don't care that you're in an abusive situation, people don't care that you're, 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 you're being treated a certain way, it's just you're wasting our time, you're costing us money, let's go, you're out. Wow. No one's really looking at you. I think more than a, anything, like one thing that really irritates me, and especially because my, my boyfriend is also my manager, yeah. so a lot of the time people just feel like, oh, she wants to bring a boyfriend along. But if like Nasty C's brother is his mm. manager, it doesn't seem like he wants to bring his right. brother along for the ride. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So that for me has always been very, very frustrating. And it's also a safety thing. Yeah, yes. and that's another thing that I was gonna say. Like for me, like it, it's different. I can't move like especially in South Africa, let's be honest. I'm not going anywhere by myself. Yeah. I'm not going on a plane by myself. I'm not getting on a bus by myself. I'm not going anywhere by myself. Mm. Like it's not going to happen. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And there's 
this, like physically I can't defend myself the same way a man can and like sometimes oh she wants a bouncer to walk with her from the gate to the stage ah yes. she's being traumatic like dude I'm definitely I'm being like harassed. I'm being harassed you know also, what I mean famous, people, people yeah. don't, no 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 outside of being famous people don't realize what females the in general of being a female, like, not, yeah. not, not, being, not being an artist not being a celebrity I'm just being a female. female because you're being groped every two seconds you're walking in a club right. yeah. now imagine how everybody wants to Everyone knows you because of the TV. Now they really want to touch you yeah. because they know you from a certain uh, public space. Yeah. And, and, and that's where the importance comes in. I remember Zintla once actually told me a story about a, a female DJ who she knows from Durban who was booked, got onto a plane, went to Cape Town. That booking didn't end up being a booking. That girl ended up being raped. Mm-hmm. Wow. Jesus Christ. In a hotel room. And ever since she told me that story, she was like, ever since she heard that story, she doesn't travel anywhere by herself. Yeah. So, to a point where she's actually even gotten a bouncer who travels mm. with her. Mm-hmm. Because she's just like, I don't care I where I do am, this. I'm not going by myself. Mm. And those types of things kind of make you realize that these things can happen so easily. Yeah. We feel like we're brave enough because they're like, ah, no one can tell me I roam around Jobo by myself. No, it's no. not that simple. Yeah. One, even driving in Jobo by yourself is already tricky. I am maybe the most paranoid person. I'm a tough cookie generally, but I've been through so many situations of crime mm-hmm. where I've been smashed and grabbed, I've been marked, I've, I've had my, my, my belongings stolen out of my car to the point where I'm not paranoid just to leave the house. Exactly. Where I drive, live like Where that. I drive into my garage, even driving into the gate, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Yeah. Hi, I'm already in a secure area. So as women, we're kind of living that type of life. I mean, recently, um, uh, Angelin Bali was also then hijacked. Broad daylight, it didn't even happen at night. Three in the afternoon. Mm. In, in Hyde Park where she was hijacked and she felt she couldn't even look at anybody for help. There was only one lady out of everybody in that intersection. A woman. Me, by how that. hard it is. You're in yeah. Hyde Park. There's yeah. definitely a lot of people in yeah. that street. One person came to help her. Yeah. This is the type of life that we're living. Yeah. We're living in a space where we are fragile. We are sensitive to everything and people are like ah oh, you guys are always wiling we're not wiling yeah, we're, we're the not weaker safe. sex yeah we're the we're weaker actually sex. not safe and, and also, everybody takes advantage I at think, any point yeah anybody takes advantage and i think like another struggle that obviously we don't have children but i know fifi she's got a child do you yes. know what I mean? and she constantly has to have that in the back of her head like yeah. you know obviously she has the support of her family when she's on the road and stuff but like if she doesn't have that like who's going to look after the child yeah exactly yeah. You see, so also just had a child. I've been trying to get her in the studio for so long. Like, you know, like she was like, I can come in the day or I can come. Do you know what I mean? Because I've got a child. There's my routine has changed. Like, yeah. Yeah. My, my whole routine has changed. And there's just, that's something that a man will never ever go through. Yeah. Right. Like as a female, and we're obviously all still going to get to that stage. You know, we were at, having a conversation earlier on about Cardi B and how she, like, she really thought, like, after she has a baby, she's going to get back on the road. She's going to go yeah. on tour with Bruno Mars. And she wasn't able to do yeah. that, you know. And it's not like she's a failure. It's not like she's a weak person. But it's just like your priorities are different as yeah. a Yeah. Yeah. And I, mean, I just want to say shout out to Busi so She's still under for sure. Wow. Five wow. two pregnant. Well, five two <laughs> giving birth. <laughs> She'll always be my queen. Also because I've always sat back and be like, ah, I can't be that girl now with Isisu and I'm DJing in the club. Busiso has just shown me what it's possible, actually, okay? And she that's told because it's possible, okay? Else and what yeah. they think she women should do. She told me in the club that she's pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> you know me? Oh, God, it's cool. Jesus, let's read a Bible verse and pray. <laughs> she literally was like, and how happy, and like how beyond be happy is she? Like yeah. what she talks about is her baby. She literally, and then yeah. I saw DJ Tira at the Super Mega Show in East London not too long after that. He was like, God, I'm not gonna tell you something. Who says he's pregnant? Oh no, we're gonna milk him. Just <laughs> drop midnight we're gonna milk him. I was like, oh no, we're going on the road. We are gonna coin it. I wow. don't know. We are gonna coin it. We're wow. going on the road. And you know what? Was this what did? She twerked you like yeah. that. Oh, she did. Way. Like still That's even amazing. afterwards, and she she surprised herself even yes. like she didn't only surprised the man, she didn't even surprise us herself. She surprised yeah. herself yeah. too, yeah. and it's such an inspiration. Shoot, Ooh. baby, they want some more. Ooh. Baby, they want some more. Ooh. Baby, they want some more. Ooh. 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 Broadcast live.